Hi, my name is Sydney Jo Schneider, and one of the ways that I'm staying creative during COVID is by learning new music. So I hope you enjoy my video. I'm going to take you through my process for learning music. So today I will be learning People from Funny Girl, which has words by Bob Merrill and music by Jules Stein. And it's a very popular song, but I'm going to learn it as if it wasn't. So I'm going to learn it from scratch. And so pretend like there's only the backing track that exists and there's no demo you can listen to. That's how I'm going to learn it today. So the first thing I do is I plunk out the notes on the piano. I know not everyone has that skill, but it's really useful if you can just pluck out, plunk, plunk out your notes and it makes life a lot easier because then you can plug out your melody and you can learn anything. So I'm going to start by doing that. People, 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 oh, key signature, people, people who need people, people. As you can see, I had a couple hiccups in my plunking out of the notes, but that's okay because I can go back and play it again until I get it right. And then if I am having trouble with like the half step movement, there's a lot of half step movement in this song, so it makes it a little challenging. But if I have trouble with that, then I can go back to trouble spots, which is trouble trouble spots, which is my second step in me learning music, I go back to the phrases that just didn't make sense in my head until they do make sense in my head. So that's what I'll do now. With one person. Nope. With one person. We travel single though. Maybe we're lucky, but I don't know. Okay, so as you could see, my trouble spots tended to be in two areas. They were in with one person with a half step movement and be, but first be the person who needs people. So I worked on those and now I think I got them in my brain. So that's good. Okay, so now that I've learned the notes, I'm going to try to fit it to a backing track. So you can find these online, like the karaoke versions, and you can find pretty quality ones if it's a popular song. But if it's not, then if you have, a, if you're fortunate to have a fortunate enough to have a vocal coach or a piano teacher, then maybe they can play it for you, or ask one of your friends who plays piano to play it for you. Um, but this would be the time if you're having trouble fitting it with a backing track to listen to um, the original recording of the song. So Barbara Streisand sang the song and she did a wonderful job. <laughs> and so she would probably be the one to listen to for people. And um, I usually do not like to listen to um, the original recordings while I'm practicing unless I do need help with that timing because I feel like it takes away from my personal spin on the song. But I know that's not the case for everyone. So do whatever you need to do to get the timing and learn the timing. But um, yeah, so next I'm gonna try to fit it to the backing track. Okay, so now I'm gonna fit the notes I plunked out on the piano to the backing track, which was so nicely played by my old voice teacher, Marianne Reed. And I'm going to use the sheet music so I don't have to worry about the words and I can just worry about fitting the music to the backing track. after I put the notes that I plunked out to the backing track is that I learned the song as a monologue. Now everyone has a different process for this and my process is a hodgepodge of different things I learned at MSU. So, but the most basic thing I find out is who am I talking to and what is my intention? So who I'm talking to is Nick, is the, which is the man that Fanny falls in love with in the show. And then my intention is to come to terms with her love for Nick or to tell someone that I love them. And 
This can change as I go through and do the nitty gritty stuff of learning the monologue. But um, I usually mark the beats and I'll either put subtext under the actual lyrics or I'll put a tactic above them. I'll use different things, whatever is most useful for me to get the most out of the words of the song. So now I'm going to do the song as a monologue and it's going to be super silly, but it also gets out your nerves for singing. So it's a super well, silly way to calm your nerves and to get in touch with the character. People, people who need people are the luckiest people in the world. We're children needing other children, and yet letting our grown-up pride hide all the need inside, acting more like children than children. People. See, that was super silly, but it got my nerves out, and I discovered a few things about the song along the way. So now I'm going to sing it for you. So the final step is to sing the song and have fun. So I'm going to sing People for you, and I hope you enjoy. Thank you so much for watching my video. <laughs> Hi, thank you so much for watching my video. Um, I really appreciate it. And I hope you go and watch my classmates video because the class of 2022 is so talented. So please check out the whole channel and thank you for watching my video once again.